Which generation is also known as the Forgotten Generation? The answer to the question is Generation X. Um, the reason why I told that trivia question is because I have decided to change the name of my account to Gen X Quilter. And the reason why I decided to do that, and you'll, you probably saw the, the intro um, just a second ago, and it had the new name on it. Uh, so the reason why I decided to do that is that well, first of all, I am Generation X, so, um, and I have found that uh, most of Generation X is very resourceful. You know, we grew up before the internet, before computers. We had to have something to do during the day, so we were um, played outside all day and very, like I said, very resourceful. Another reason is that I am going to start doing some more tutorials and uh, some deep dive into uh, tutorials on Silhouette Cameo and how I use my Cameo that I have had for, oh, I bet I've had it for 10 plus years. I want to teach you guides on how to use the Cameo to make cutting patterns and cutting fabric for your quilts so much easier. And I'm also going to share some other fun stuff. Um, I have some, some SVG cut files that are going to be put in my shop and um, on my website and uh, SVG I'm not for sure exactly what they stand it stands for but it's cut files that you use for silhouette and you can also use it for your Cricut as well so I'm going to put uh, some of those into my shop well quite a few of them um, in my shop in the next oh, two or three months so watch out for that um, my new website is genxquilter.com and I will probably, I'm going to change all of my social media to Gen X Quilter as well. On some of them, Gen X Quilter is already taken, so I'll put Gen X underscore Quilter on some of those. So watch out for that. I was also going to show you the quilt that I um, made last week. I have some video of how I quilted this on my long arm with the pantographs. And I'm going to show you those, those to you right now. For this next clip, I want to talk about using the panto. It's behind the, in the back of the long arm. Uh, so this is the pantograph that I have taped up. Um, I purchased it off of urbanelements.com. I'll leave a link below. And if you notice at the top, there is a, um, like a la laser that you can follow. And uh, you just follow that around the design. You don't have to be perfect um, because nobody's going to know what, what design that you're using, what pantograph that you're using, and you just go along, follow those designs. And um, on these, if you notice the the there's some lighter color and then darker color. What that is called a ghost print, and that will help you go to the next next uh, frame of your quilt, um, make it seamless. So you just gotta match those up and that's how I am working from the back of my machine. So now that you've seen how I quilted this quilt, I was gonna show you the actual qu the quilt itself. 
so this is the quilt it's a, a tiny one it's um not even a twin i don't think but that's what it looks like and i made this with patterns using if you see my old bit my other videos of patterns that i've that i had using my eq8 software and i just put them into a fabric that i had the scrap fabric i think i had like a three yards of scrap fabric that i used for this and here is the end result i like how i like the pattern that i used for the the quilting and yeah it was just a fun little quilt make sure you watch my videos about my silhouette cameo i I do have a big unboxing next week that I'm so excited about. So make sure you stay tuned for that and tune in next week on Monday around the same time and um, for a fun unboxing and tell you a little bit more about how my channel is going to evolve and change. And I'm very excited for all these changes. And, and thanks for watching.